It's your boy Johnny B, B Fly TV. So I'm here with my very first food review. Yay! Yo, yo, yo! Nah, I'm just playing. Nah, but um, this is my first food review. I've been saying I was gonna do some food reviews. I've tried them, they didn't really come out good, but I'm like, yo, what the heck? Today, I'm gonna do it. Uh, it was real spontaneous. One of my favorite soul food spots, Austin's Soul Food, here in Jacksonville, Florida. I, I'm sorry, they don't pay me for this or anything like that. I just love eating there. They have the best soul food in Jacksonville, in my opinion. Some of you may like other places. I like Austin's. I like Austin's because their macaroni and cheese does not change. Everything is good, but the macaroni and cheese is great. The other spot I used to like to go to, I'm not going to say the name on here, but because this isn't about them. They change their macaroni and cheese. I don't like it. I don't even go there no more. I don't even care how good everything else is. So, I'm scrolling on Instagram. And then, uh, Austin's post, like, today only, happy hour. We're going to do a fried crab leg. I'm like, yo, a fried crab leg? I've never even, I didn't even think you could fry a crab leg. But here it is. And it's a big leg. Dude, look at how big the joint is, though. Check the joints on it. And they fry me, you know, all right, so... I'm gonna check them out, you know. I've never eaten fried crabs. Um, I got my little sauce that I put a little, you know, little thing, little, my little thing that I do when I'm eating seafood. Now, I tried to take this little leg off here, but it ain't really quite work like I wanted it to work. Okay, the meat is still, it's still like juicy inside there. I still got like that. really much in that little knuckle thing, but that was to be expected, that was to be expected, I mean, it was just a little, little knuckle joint there, okay, so let's see this, mm. see, I wasn't expecting it to be juicy, because they fried it, you know, but, oh, backstory on this. No. The crab kind of got cold. Yo, that is good. Yo, that's good. I don't know what this butter stuff is they put on top of it. They might use some batter and then like drizzle some sort of butter of some sort on top of it, but I can get with it. So, yeah, this was just like a little happy hour, one-time thing I guess they had going on over at Austin's. So they only had, uh, like, you get the, the whole uh, claw deep fried for 10 bucks. And again, it's a, it's a pretty nice size claw. I wasn't upset with the... Um, with the amount of money that it cost and the size of the claw, it was just like, it was, it was cool, it, it worked out for me. So that's good. So I was like, yo, I'm gonna go over to, um, to I wasn't gonna say their name, but you know what? I'm gonna say their name. I'm gonna go over to Harvey's over on uh, Market Street. Hardly, you know, stop my eye. Give me some salt. Some sausages and some, um, and some potatoes to add up in there. You know, because also, they weren't, this wasn't like a, a whole seafood thing. It wasn't a plate or nothing. It was just like, you would get the ball. You know what I'm saying? You would get the call it? A la carte? Whatever. So I'm going to go and get me the fixings to add with mine. Cause I'm gonna do a review on it. 
I've been dying to do a review, y'all. So I get up the Harvey's. See an older, older white lady, you know, she's on the hospital gown. She in a wheelchair in front of Harvey's. Harvey's is a grocery store here in Jacksonville. You know, if you don't in Jacksonville, I'm trying to figure out what Harvey's is. A lot of my friends are from Rochester. Harvey's is like tops. They ain't like Wegmans. Publix is like Wegmans. But, again, this is the closest grocery store to my crib. If I need to run down and grab me something real quick, that's what I'm going to. But not no more. Not after today. I ain't, I ain't going down there no more. So, get down there. See a little older white lady in the parking lot. She in a wheelchair and a hospital gown. She low key crying, you know. When I walk by, I'm like, oh man. I hope she okay. Go inside the store. She come inside the store. I mean, in the front, she crying and kind of like yelling. You kind of hear her screaming like something wrong. So. I saw a manager kind of like giving her a hard time making her leave or whatever. So I go outside and she's just like really falling and crying. So as I'm getting in my car, I just couldn't help it because she was right by my car. I said, hey, so you know, sweetie, are you okay? You need some help? She starts telling me that her care uh, gave her, like, dropped her off down there and left her, tried to take some extra money out of her check. She wasn't having it. And she's really under a lot of stress right now because of that. And she needs to go to the hospital. She having chest pain. I was like, alright, well, come on, let's go back inside all these. And we'll call the hospital. You know, we'll call 911. Get the ambulance out here to come get you, whatever, we'll find your family. No, I don't want to go in there. The manager was being rude to me and told me that if I don't get out, you know, they're gonna take my wheelchair or something like that. I'm like, oh well, you know that man. Said nothing like that. Like, I'm just taking into account that this may be a mental patient that we're dealing with here, you know. I work in that field, no lie. So I'm like, alright, cool. So I go to, I come home, turn my food back, but something just wasn't right. I had to go back to Harvey's. Make sure the lady's okay. I get there, she's still. I pull up, she crying, and man, she's outside at this point. The manager or whoever, he had to be of some sort of like, first of all, his name was Alan. He had to be like some sort of manager of some sort because he didn't have on like a Harvey's uniform. He had like a checkered plaid shirt or whatever, some old Ted Bundy. Some Ted Bundy type of stuff. Um, I look out to the bigger pieces. They everyone's a little just a tad bit dry up in there. But also, this is a winter. I I can get with this. Long story short, I walked the lady home because me and the manager started getting into it. Because uh, I was telling the lady, "Hey, I'm gonna walk you home." Because she was telling me that she they did the uh, high rise is right around the corner. It's late. We downtown Jacksonville. If you live in Jacksonville, you know what time it is downtown in that area. This lady is 77 years old. 77 years old. I found this out while we were there. I'm gonna walk her home. She down there by herself. Somebody gone. Gonna rob her. She got a little money on her already. Hey, what if that was mom on? You know what I'm saying? Then I thought about a little more. I'm like, yo, she probably is somebody's mom, somebody's aunt. She's definitely somebody's daughter. You know? Cousin, something like somebody gotta be around or something like that, but they whoever it is, like, yo, you wrong, man. Like, come on, these people. I don't know, I'm getting off topic, but more than anybody. Yo, that manager from Harvey's, bro, you make me not even want to go and shop there no more. 
just off of the strength of like, yo, the way he was really treating that woman, like, come on, bro. Like, what if that was your mom? You know what I'm saying? All I can think of was like, yo, what if that was my mom? And no, she wasn't black. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a, it wasn't a race thing. Sometimes, so I honestly, like, I honestly believe that a lot of the problems that we have here in America is not race related. It's human related. Like, yo, like, what's wrong with like, what's wrong with being a decent human? This was good. But yo. Shout out to Austin Soul Food on Main Street. I don't know the exact address. I'm gonna post it down here. Over there or over there or over here right here. I don't know. Something along those lines. But um it's my favorite soul food spot. That's why I don't know the actual what's name. I go there so much. Um, I don't know it. Damn, bro, that crab was good. I dropped a little piece of crab meat over here. Mm. And it, yo, it was not greasy at all. So I, I feel like the grease didn't even, maybe they don't even fry it long enough for the grease to touch the meat. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't even know, like, how they did this, but I'm glad they did. And Austin's, if y'all thinking about Bringing this to the full menu. Bring it on. Bring it. Bring it and leave it. Y'all gotta get some wet sides with it, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Y'all gonna mess around and put JJ's name right out of business. It's gonna hit every time. Yo, Austin. Hit my line about that, man. What I'm talking about hitting my line? See, I've been drinking too much. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. I'm gonna yet be drinking. But yeah, Austin's like, yo, this was this was good. This was good. Now, um, I don't know who came up with this or why. I see this was your happy hour menu. I can I can I can I'm I don't know what's wrong with me. Um the food was good. So yo, my people, the fried crab leg from Austin Soul Food is great. It's crazy. Like I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was nice and crispy and crunchy on the outside, but on the inside it was still moist and juicy and gave you that crab leg seafood effect. It wasn't like dried out and disgusting. No, absolutely not. So Austin's, that was a go for me. I know this was just a trial thing for you guys for this little happy hour thing you got, but put this on the menu. I'll come back and buy this. Put it on the menu. Nah, I'm serious though, but um, yeah, so that was a winner for me. Until next time, it's your boy Johnny B, B Fly TV. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you have a restaurant or if you have a delivery service or a storefront, whatever it is, whatever kind of food you have and you want it to be reviewed on my show, hit my inbox. I'm gonna put the link down here or down here or down here in the middle. I don't know, I'm gonna put it somewhere on the video, but nevertheless, Hit me up, let me know, like, yo, shoot me a box of something or a plate or something like that, and I'll bring it on here, I'll talk about it.